Hi there. Now you may recall that we've got Kate speed is given by this formula V. V equaling 21 all divided by 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta. And in part A we had to give another version for this denominator here. We had to express 24 sine theta plus cos theta in the form R cos theta minus alpha, which we did. And now we're told that Kate's speed is 1.68 meters per second and asked to find the two possible values of the angle theta given that theta lies between 0 and 150 degrees for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you can fast forward to the end. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, all I'm going to be doing is substituting for V, 1.68, and in place of 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta, just this identity here. And then I'm going to solve the equation, finding my angles between 0 and 150 degrees. So, don't really need much of this description up here anymore. So what we'll do is we'll just remove this. And so we've got the basic question now. So I'll substitute V equaling 1.68 in. So we've got therefore 1.68 equals the 21 divided by our denominator now, which I'm going to write as 25 cosine of theta minus 73.74 degrees. And if I rearrange this, multiply both sides by cosine of theta minus 73.74 and divide by 1.68, I'm going to get this result that the cosine of theta minus 73.74 degrees is equal to 21 divided by 25 times the 1.68. And if you work this out, you find you end up with 0 0.5, which is nice because we should be familiar with this, the cosine of an angle giving 0 0.5, it's equal to essentially 60 degrees. But if I just show you the working, we therefore have theta minus 73.74 degrees is equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.5. And it is 60 degrees, but if we were to sketch a quadrant diagram, there's another answer that we can have as well. You might want to do it by a graphical method, but uh, quadrant diagram is what I personally prefer. 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so where is cosine positive? Okay, it's positive in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So you draw two lines equally inclined to this horizontal. Let's mark them in like that. And the angles that we would want would be one round here, okay? This turns out to be the angle of 60 degrees. So I just put that in here as being 60 degrees, okay? And we'll mark that in as 60 degrees. Now I can see that I'm going to be adding in a moment 73.74 degrees to the 60 degrees. But I can still afford to take this angle round in this direction. This angle is going to be a negative turn, it's going to be minus 60 degrees. So that when I add 73.74 to minus 60 degrees, I'm still going to get an angle for theta in this range here. So we've got two answers that theta minus 73.74 degrees can be either 60 degrees or minus 60 degrees. So therefore, if I 
add 73.74 degrees to each of these answers, okay, then I'm going to get theta equals, when we take the plus 60 degrees, 133.74 degrees. And when I add 73.74 to the minus 60 degrees, I end up with 13.74 degrees. And we're asked to give these angles, well, we're not asked to, but I'm just going to give them to one decimal place. So therefore, theta it would equal 133.7 degrees to 1 dp. And we've also got this angle of 13.7 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then on that one.